Hey, what's up everyone? I just wanted to make this video regarding several things. First, regarding this hurricane that's that's barreling toward the, the United States East Coast, particularly hitting uh, North and South Carolina and uh, areas across the United States East Coast, basically. There's a lot going on right now in this storm. As of 19 minutes ago from the Weather Channel, that's targeting the, Carolina, the uh, Carolinas, the Appalachians, with potentially catastrophic, um, catastrophic potential. Um, it's got winds right now of 150 miles per hour, and it's uh, it's a very dangerous storm. But there are several things. First of all, I don't know whether I'll be able to receive any comments or anything right now. I don't, I'm not receiving any notifications. My device functions running out and the uh, memory is out basically. I'm not exactly sure why the memory is out, but the memory is out in my device and it's just it's crazy. Uh, I can't receive any texts or anything right now. Barely receive phone calls or even send a phone call. Battery I've had to take out and it's, big, it's a big mess. But yeah, I just wanted to state that um, hopefully, just, let's just hope and pray that this thing doesn't do exactly what they say it's going to do. Uh, they've already evacuated the majority of the coast, the coastal areas that it's expected to impact, and my daddy is headed that direction right now. He's headed that direction. He's a truck driver, and he's going over, he's going to the Carolinas right now. I believe he's headed to North Carolina, and let's hope that he misses this. They said that the uh, the person, the people that is that are picking up the load, stated that they're they'll be there in the morning. But as far as after that, they don't know what they're going to do. Now, many people are being forced to evacuate. They're closing streets down. They said there will be alternative routes that they could use. But this storm is definitely a serious situation. Another thing that's been happening with me is once again my darkness and depression just hit me like a rock today. It just hit me really hard and just took over, and I don't like that. I mean, it's like I can't think of anything positive. I can't, I just can't, uh, I hate it. I hate that when that happens. And then later, I finally got a little better. I finally got better. And see, I just received the notification on the phone that device memory full, unable to receive new texts and multi slash multimedia messages. So I don't know if I'll be able to get the notifications or not. But regardless, I'll check my YouTube app. I'll, the tablet's out of memory too, so I'm hoping someday to get another phone or tablet, or both if I ever can. But yeah, we've been going through a lot of financial issues and trying to make ends meet right now. And the crazy thing is, you know, I also I just want hope. Uh, send your positive best wishes that my daddy misses this storm and gets out safely. That they send him another direction away from this storm in time to miss it. So, anyway, um, yeah, today was, I mean, it was like 60-something, and then it was uh, about 70, I think, for the high today. Yesterday, I think we made it to a high of 64 here in our area, and the low was around 50, so it was very, it was in the low 50s. It was very, very cool, so that's what's been going on as far as the weather here. But this storm not only is very powerful, and it has several storms behind it. And several of the nuclear power plants are in... Uh, I don't know why they're not talking about that. This other YouTuber was talking about it, and I understand his concern about this. Several nuclear power plants are in the pathway of this hurricane. And they said, if you, if you watched, uh, not Fox News, but uh, the Weather Channel, once it hits the Carolinas right here... It's just going to stop. They said it's going to stop for a couple of days and just sit there in the Carolinas. It's going to dump three feet of rain. And we're not talking like, oh, the water is going to rise three feet. That's not counting what the water is going to rise from the, from the lakes, the creeks, and everything. The water is going to rise even more than that. The dam, the dam water, <laughs> the dam water, <laughs> the dam water, <laughs> that's what it sounded like I was stating. Uh, anyway, the dam water sorry, is going to rise. Also, this is not a joking matter, but the water from the dams is going to, is, is going to rise, and then you've got the potential of overflowing dams, 
and especially when this hurricane, this storm sits there for such a substantial amount of time, such a significant period of time. So this is a serious situation and much love and, and thoughts and prayers and everything goes out to the people going through this and hopefully my daddy does not hopefully he uh, also someone else that is that we know is going that is going in that direction too so hopefully they hopefully they stay out of the path of this as well and my daddy as well also hopefully he misses it and comes back and goes the other direction usually they send him there and then to Missouri back and forth hopefully he goes to Missouri quickly and gets out of there but anyway uh but yeah the 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 dam waters the water from the dams could overflow and you, you have several nuclear power plants probably five or six well known or at least shown on the maps nuclear power plants and they usually have backup plans likely shut them down leading to more elect elect electrical outages but the nuclear power plants i mean when you get flooding around them and damage to them that can be disastrous so we'll have to see how this situation plays out but back to what's been going on with me um, uh, as far as a personal vlog I guess I'll, I might discuss that in another video but I've been going through a lot of that darkness and depression so and it just hits you like a rock and you can't think of anything positive and uh, uh, just positive thoughts are hard to think of and it's like why do I have to be feeling like this and you try to pray for positivity but it's just difficult to do and it's like and then you just you can't think of anything prayers and love and just you just want to but you can't and your mind won't let you and then I finally got a little better and I was I don't know I just then uh, then I, I got a little bit better then we ate and I ate some uh, I fixed this meal well I fixed this kind of this casserole I decided to fix this ca crab casserole I thought you know what I'm gonna fix a crab casserole like the Chinese restaurant would do and it was really good but just three little imitation crab meat pieces and cream cheese and put some milk in there some uh, garlic and some onions and garlic powder and mix some uh, let's see what else did I put in there uh, of course the cream cheese the butter first to get it you know get started and uh, then milk to kind of make it like a sauce in there but yeah then I made that but then I went outside and well no that was earlier that was after I went outside I went outside and did some uh, yard work did some weed eating and stuff because the grass kind of got out of hand because the crazy thing is we took the mower the mower the lawnmower tire has come off several times we can't afford to fix that right now but we send it to the person that we usually have fix it we used the truck and took it up there um, like three weeks ago three or four weeks ago he still has it so I don't know what in the world's going on there maybe he's not finding the tire but uh, the wheel not just the tire but the tire has come off the wheel the whole entire wheel has come off multiple times that same wheel just wobbles right off and we're like what the heck I'm like what in this world what in existence I'm just like why like I'm like why does that have to happen the wheel just wobbles off and I'm just I'm sitting going forward I back up put the lawnmower in reverse I turn a little bit I'm going forward not even turning the wheel and all of a sudden the wheel wobbles off it's like that wheel is cursed or something but anyway yeah it just wobbles off every single time that's the third or fourth time no the fifth that's the fifth time that that's happened to that wheel so now he says he'll put a new wheel on there and that took that was three or four weeks ago we've had it there nearly a month and he's kept it so I don't know what's going on he said he'll call us but I have no idea anyway um yeah moving back he said oh, i'll call your mama's phone so i was like okay and uh we've still been waiting for that so i kind of got tired i was like tired of that i was thinking well i can't just let that grass keep growing up it's like way high up and the, do the dogs were like are you gonna do this are you gonna mow it i mean are you gonna weed eat it i was weeding it. it was kind of funny it was hilarious the dogs were kind of just like telling me then the I had to shut the weed eater off weed eater off and put some more uh, fuel in it and the dogs were just like you're gonna get behind here right you're gonna get behind my dog house and like yay and they're just wagging their tails all happy because I was getting all the all the yard I got the half of the part of half part of the backyard where it's around the backyard done with the weed eater the entire half of the backyard done with the weed eater so I had to do that from the house to the road from around the, all the way back on the left side of the backyard 
So I had to do the whole thing with a weed eater because we've been without a lawnmower for so long. So, at least it was cool. It's supposed to be cool tomorrow, so maybe I can do the other half of the yard with it, with the weed eater. And uh, then I leaf blowed the driveway off with a leaf blower and got rid of the leaves and the... Uh, my Nana actually got us that for Christmas a few years ago, the leaf blower. And we got a good sale on the weed eater a long time ago, like 60-something dollars, I think, maybe. Seventy dollars. It was a snapper mower. I mean, weed eater. And it, I love, I love the weed eater. Weed eater. It's really good. I don't want to say anything. Cross my fingers. I don't want to say a word because when I say something, it just winds up messing it up. But yeah, things hear you. It seems like and then screw everything up, mess everything up when I say anything positive about something. But I thought I'd just share kind of just some things that have been going on while I shared news about this. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, that, that's also what's been going on with me and us. And, uh, but yeah, then I leaf blowed the driveway off and got rid of all the grass and the leaves and things and cleared that off. <laughs> but it seems like once you, we once you leaf blow the driveway, the leaves have already fallen again. So that's a never ending job, especially this time of year. But anyway, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, just something I had, we had to do, I had to do. Because I was like, well, this can't last any longer. We uh, don't have the mower fixed. Can't afford to do that now either, so I don't know what in the world. I don't know why it took so long. But anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about that in this. But I need to. Just, I just wanted to talk about various things. They say it helps to talk about things, so that's what I'm doing. And I've been going through that darkness and depression again. It came up Monday morning. Sunday night into Monday morning, and it, and I was okay Tuesday morning, and then this evening, this evening it hit, yeah, it hit this evening like a rock, and uh, suddenly, and then I was fine later tonight, about nine I guess, I was a lot better, and that's when I fixed the casserole, a little bit of casserole, and my mom and I shared it. That was really good, by the way. I'm just doing a vlog right now, I guess. But also, the thoughts, prayers, and much love uh, goes out to everyone in the path of the storm. I know um, my daddy's in the path. It might be. Pray that he misses it. Pray that he's he's going to North Carolina right now. And he'll be in North Carolina in the morning. He has a delivery uh, for his trucking job. He has a delivery over there. And I think the customers over there were stating they they'll be open in the morning, but they don't know they don't know if they'll be open later. As far as evacuations and everything that are happening, they don't know. They don't know what they're going to do. It's up in the air as far as the rest of the day. But that monster storm that's a that's it's a monster storm for sure. They said it's deadly. It's historic. It's something they said that they have not seen. Uh, scientists are even stating it could be catastrophic. The rainfall from this storm could be catastrophic. And and they said that this it's this hurricane's not alone. Four powerful storms are seen from space behind it. We have four storms behind this storm right now. And uh, they said it just keeps barreling. They just keep barreling toward the United States. And um, so yeah, it's something else, something. It's definitely ramping up, and we're in El Nino year. We're now going to be in an El Nino, so we'll see what that means for our weather. We just ended the La Nina, now we're going to El Nino. It's supposed to be a nine-year event thing, but apparently it's happening all the time now. But yeah, let's hope and pray that uh, my darkness and depression eases off. Let's hope everything situates here. Let's hope financially everything goes well for us. Let's hope and pray that my daddy misses these storms, this storm, this hurricane, and that uh, this other person that uh that we know this uh, friend of ours a uh, friend of ours that uh well he's kind of related in a way but he's uh, uh well he's not really related but he's uh related to uh, the ex of someone in our family that uh he's related to them and he's still he's a really nice person and we hope he misses it as well and uh, let's hope he misses it. Let's hope Daddy misses it. Let's hope uh, that everyone stays safe. And this is a historic storm. So let's hope for all these things. Much love. I just want to give several updates, not only on the storm and what's going on with it, but also what's going on with us. Peace. Bye.